This is my current monitor for my computer. It's a Samsung 40 inch 4K television. And I love it. I really do. And I've had many, many, many pieces of hardware in my life. And everyone will ask me, see us, what piece of hardware is your favorite? What thing, what amp, what DAC, what headphone? And I could tell you right now, it's in this room. And I'm gonna review it. And if you read, the, if you don't know what the title of the, well, let me show you. So this, hi, is the most important piece of equipment that I have ever owned. The, the most life-changing. This is a Silicon Graphics rebadged Sony GDMFW900 CRT. Um, the colors are probably kind of weird, at least what you're seeing, because I've got it tuned to display this perfectly, as close as I can get it. 30 FPS, weird 4.3, get the color uh, locked ISOs, and uh, this is as good as you're gonna ever get to see one of these unless you see one in real life. It's currently running at 60 Hertz, with the camera running at 30 FPS, with a, with a refresh rate of 60, and it's pretty fucking good. Normally I'd be running this at 85 Hertz, at 1920 by 1200. So I'm currently at 1920 by 1200 at 60 Hertz. And I can just tell you that this is, wait, the most baller visual experience you'll ever have. I actually own three of these monitors, two Sonys, two Sonys, and this Silicon Graphics. And I'm doing this review for a very simple reason. Oh shit. I'm going to put the other two monitors of this type in the yard sale. It's a 97 pound CRT, and this is the finest CRT ever made. And I could say that with certainty, because guess what? They're not making CRTs anymore. This is it. 24 inch, well, 22 and a half viewable. I'm currently playing Unreal 2, by the way, because I needed a really quick game to install, just to show off uh, FPS gameplay. And I've never played Unreal 2. I've played Unreal Tournament, the original. I, I played lots of, oh shit. Die. Ah. And uh, minimize that. We'll get to the wallpaper here. This display was $2,500 when it was new in like 2000. I think it was sold from like early 2000 to 2006, 2008. Maybe not even 2008. I don't even think I made it there. And I bought one on eBay for $105. And it was in California and I had to ship a box all the way to California because the guy was like local pickup only. And I'm like, no, 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 you don't understand. You see, I watched a special where they were editing, ignore the pink keyboard, by the way. We'll get to it. I watched a special behind the scenes of the making of the movie 300. Remember the movie 300, you know, Sparta, this is Sparta. And in the making of that movie, they showed the guy that was doing the visual effects sitting on his desk and he had a plasma tv to watch it on the wall but when he was at his desk it was a it was a sony gdm fw 900 and i went i wonder if i could have one because at the time 2009 to 2010 what, time, what the fuck year is it 2010 2011 i was like huh they don't make this anymore i wonder if i can get one for cheap and i got one for dirt dirt cheap by the way, all the, I'll link, I'll link a wallpaper because uh, it's gonna. I'm gonna go through so many pictures as I'm talking about this. Anyway, I managed to find one on a, on eBay. Message a guy like, "Look, if I send you a box, will you put the monitor in it and then put it outside and I'll arrange for pickup?" And I, I've never done anything like this before. This was like, oh my god, I was a youngin and it was like this was exciting. And I did that, and the first monitor showed up, and the bezel here was cracked. You're gonna see it when I go to show you the ones that I'm putting in the yard sale. But even with that cracked bezel, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Uh, for those of you who have never seen a high-end CRT, because I'm sure 50% of my audience probably has never seen one. If you don't understand, you know when we talk about tube amps 
and like the tubes need to warm up and it's an old analog sound, that's this. In fact, I'll link Technology Connections video on CRTs or how they work, where it's literally drawing every line. How's that? It's weird, I'm sure looking. And if I get real close, like real close, you can't see pixels because there are none. This may have a resolution of 1920 by 1200, which is 16 by 10, but it's not like a normal display because it's like an OLED where we're OLED. Oh my fucking God. Where OLED that the actual glass, this is glass. This is half inch glass with a, a phosphorus coating that's being excited by electricity that's shooting radiation in my eyeballs. And all of my CRTs, I peeled off the anti-glare coating and to, to make it more vibrant and bright. And holy fuck, um, this disappeared from my life when I moved out of my parents' place in 2015. This was the CRT, this is the monitors I used. I had three of them and every three, every four months, I would swap one out so they all got used, constantly used, used, bring it out, used. I moved to my um, apartment in Philly and I brought one. I did bring one, but I didn't hook it up to a computer. I hooked it up to my Dreamcast and I used it maybe once every three months as like a novelty. And that's sad. And when I moved to this house, uh, my parents were like, hey, can you come get these 97 pound fucking things out of the storage room? And I'm like, yeah, they deserve better than that. So they sat there for five or six years, not turned on. Never not turned on. They both turn on just fine. One of them's got a loose connection. We'll talk about that when I go and turn those on tomorrow because it's late tonight and I want to do those. I'll do those tomorrow. But the rest of the story is bought one, loved it so much. You, you ever love something so much? Something has changed. Like you, I didn't know what was possible with colors and skin tones and dark things like playing that video game at fucking Unreal 2 from God knows when. Just the, the fact that you can move your mouse and there's no lag. This old gaming monitors are like 144 hertz, blah, blah, blah. Two millisecond lag. You know what the milliseconds of lag is on a CRT? Zero. Absolutely none. And you'd think that, oh, two, zero. Let me tell you, you can fucking tell the difference. So I'm not, I'm not pimping this right now as the world's greatest gaming monitor. But it's the world's greatest gaming monitor. Because if you can run 1920 by 1200 at 85 hertz, you can push it higher than that. In fact, this screen will actually handle 2304, 2304 by 1536, I think. Yeah, yeah. 2304, 1536 at, I think, 75 or 80 hertz. Um, I'm personally, my eyeballs are seeing flicker at 60, but the camera is not picking it up. And that's all that fucking matters is that you guys get a fucking clue. Let's go into my actual, here, these are all the wallpapers that are upcoming. They're all 16 by nine. You can see they're slightly cropped and you have to like just, just zoom it to get a little bit in there. Actually, if I do this and then do this and then do that and then pause it, it'll fill the screen. Um, so when I bought this, bought the first one, and it had a cracked bezel and it was a little green. It had a tinge of green. It was abused and used and fell across the whole country, came from California. I then started looking again because it was so good. It was so important. It was so much better than anything else I'd ever owned, laid my eyes on, touched, that I needed a backup. If you love something, you get a backup. You ever get a nice pair of shoes and you wear them for like a week and you go, I need a second pair of these shoes because when these shoes wear out, I need a second pair. So I did that, I bought a second monitor and it worked just fine. And then this one popped up, the Silicon Graphics. Silicon Graphics, for those of you who don't know, because honestly, SGI is probably like a little mystery thing. Um, they were like, I'm trying to think, like the Bentley, no, the Maybach. If Mercedes is Mercedes and Maybach is above them, Silicon Graphics was the Maybach of all things fancy computer in the fucking 90s and early 2000s. If you had a Silicon Graphics anything, you were fucking Bill Gates. So to have a rebrand of the Sony GDMFW 900, uh, which is a 24 inch widescreen flat panel CRT, 
um, that was done in Silicon Graphics was like, I got this at a house in Long Island where the guy used to work for SGI. He didn't just, he wasn't some designer, he worked there. And the owner was like, oh, I have a couple computers and server rigs too. It's like, no, no, I just need this. Just give me this. And I'm keeping this for as long as I can keep it running. There is a hard forums post. I will quickly, I'll link in the description. That is basically the bastion of these monitors. All the history and all the repairs and all the, and Uncle Vito and all those people there have made the ownership of this possible. The maintenance of this possible. You could figure out how to get in there and make custom resolutions. Um, when this computer, which is my three generations ago gaming machine, which is another reason I was running Unreal, because I built that like 11, 11 years ago. Um, this is my computer that I literally just use for World Chip. If you don't know what World Chip is, let me tell you. Um, if you ever have a UPS account, this fucking nightmare shows up. And this is how you do all your shipping, all the yard sale stuff to dick with World Ship. And it doesn't like installing on every computer, but it worked on this computer. And I'm like, cool, I'll take that. <sighs> um, the lighting in here has been specifically tuned to try to like make it bright enough. But then I've like adjusted the monitor and then I've adjusted the camera so that it, I think I'm getting as good as I can get. And every single thing I see here, and this has been on for a while, we're gonna talk about warm up for a second is I'm still gushing. Because I haven't sat down, like I've used it, I put it on here, I put it on the computer, I use it for world ship, I let it run every every month when it's time to ship the yard sale stuff, turn it on. I haven't played a game on this since 20 fucking 14 probably, maybe 20, early 2015 before I moved out of my parents. I hadn't played a game, that was the first game I played. And oh my fucking God, you can't hook it up to most computers. Here's the thing. Before I get any further in this and you get a little excited about buying a CRT, um, it takes a D sub 15 plug, which is like, you know what a D sub 15 plug is. It's, it's the standard blue one. Like, well, maybe you don't know what a D sub 15 is. Um, but you can buy an adapter that comes at a DVI port, but you can't just get any adapter. If you get a DVI adapter, it's got to have those four pins around the slot. See those holes, those four holes? Those are the analog prongs. And not many, or fucking almost any, current made graphics card have any analog outputs. So if you have a DVI, I think A, DVI-A, not a DVI-I, I don't think it's a DVI, -A, whatever one, the one with the four fucking pins, you can run this monitor. Now, we could talk about the back of it and what it has plugged into it, I'll give you, I'll give you the tour. I'm not picking this fucking thing up, it's 97 pounds. It's gonna sit right here. Instead, what I'll do is this. I'll introduce you to my other two Trinitron Sony GDM to 900s which sit here on my table in the great room which I've got this also in linear and stabilized at 30 FPS. So I'll try not to do too much weird movement. Notice the Dreamcast, notice the controllers, notice the CRTs. If we come to the back, you can kind of, I don't know if you can grasp the girth of this, but this is a big, these are big motherfuckers. You can kind of understand why I'm looking to give them their own homes because they've been sitting on these tables since I brought them here because there's no other place to put them. They're too good to go and dem demote them to basement use. And uh, if we come down here, if I get really low, I mean like really low, like get down. August 2001 manufacturer, that one doesn't have a manufacturer date on it. Oh, they're made in Japan, by the way, because this, this Sony, the original Sony, that's the real Sony. And if you look underneath here, you'll see a standard D sub 15 port or an RGB VGA port, whatever you want to call it. Um, which actually I'm gonna pull this out because it's not tightened, which looks like that. If you have that on your computer, uh, you should probably upgrade your computer, but you might be able to use this monitor. And then you have five BNC ports, which, how do I describe BNC? It's basically a coaxial that you twist in. And if you use those, you get red, green, and blue components along with HD and VD. Nobody wants VD, except if you have a CRT, then you definitely want VD. And that component input is much, much nicer than the standard D sub 15 plug. And the deal is on that computer in there, which I'll just, we'll walk back. We're, we're just gonna walk back now that I've, there's no, there's no walk. Ooh, let's fucking walk. Just walk. 
plug this ugly lamp in that I made because I was trying to get the light to be correct. Just, I, I really, I'm passionate. People love a passionate Zeus. Oh. So I have a DVI cable that goes out and breaks out into a five uh, BNC that then twists into the back of this. And the biggest fucking benefit is just everything is so stable once it heats up. Warm up time. Forget it. All you have to know about it is if you screw in the things and it's great. Warm up time. A CRT is like a tube amp. I, this is an audio channel usually, but it's uh, mostly AV. And this is the most V I'll ever do. I could have the newest 8K laser projector. And no matter how good it looks, this will be better. This is this was my end game. It was my end game to the point where I bought three of them. And I'm, I just, I can't, I can't have all three here. I could stack them up and I could swap them out or I could just take the one that I like the best, the one that I cherish the most, and I could just sell the other two and hope to Christ, two of you people out there are willing to drive to my house and pick them up because I will not be shipping them. I'm in Eastern Pennsylvania. Don't bid on the yard sale on them at the end of the month unless you are willing to drive to Eastern Pennsylvania or I'll be willing to drive an hour or two away from where I am to, to, to hand it off to you. So, you know, if you're in New York City, I'll drive to meet you. If you're in Philadelphia, I'll drive to meet you. Or anywhere thereabouts in the middle of the fucking state. Because I, the, those CRTs, all of them, all of these need the love. They need someone else to look upon them and witness it. Now, I was talking about warm up. The warm up varies depending on environment. I used to leave a towel on top of mine at home because I had many cats and one cat specifically, um, like to pee in things. And I'm like, mm-mm, 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 So I left a big, thick towel on top, and I would usually turn the CRT on, give it 10, 15 minutes with the towel on top of it, let it all get nice and warm, and then take the towel off it. And then the cat would go up there anyway. But 30 minutes minimum from turn on. When you first turn on this one, which is the best one of the group, I'm keeping the best one, sorry. The blacks are green. They're green, it's green, everything is just green, and you're like, ew. And things aren't out of shape. Literally, the, the, the screen will move and twist and warp. And as it warms up, and it goes back to the settings you set, and the, the colored guns get to the heat, heat, death of the universe, perfection, everything moves to where it belongs. And the blacks start, stop becoming green, they start becoming just dark and rich. And all of a sudden, you're sitting there staring at perfect i used to watch this was my hours a day every bit of gary's mod i played every time i came home to relax this is what i stared at i don't know how i don't have immediate brain cancer because of the fucking the radiation which actually probably makes my eyesight better don't know um so you get there you warm it up it's not one of those things you turn it on oh i want to play a quick five minute game okay look great turn it off you turn this on you leave it the fuck on you leave it on for five hours and you use it for the last four of them. The first hour you just let it, just let it screen, screen savers running. Just let it go. Let, let, let whatever's, whatever's happening, just let it happen. Because after this screen warms up, everything that shows up on this display, this is one of my favorite pictures, by the way, it's an actual picture. Everything that shows up is the best you've ever seen it. The best you've ever seen. The best movie, you uh, pick a movie you like. Something with good colors, something with explosions, something with motion. That was the one thing I couldn't, like, fast motion, like things moving around and dancing. You can't beat a CRT. It's impossible. <sighs> How does this look so good? I've got a 40 inch 4K and I could just turn you off, never look at you again, and just stare at this. The way I used to describe it when people back when I was still living at home, and it was like, oh, what kind of what is it? Why do you like it? Because the colors look like colored milk poured on the back of this glass. It doesn't look real. It looks so artificial that it's it's undescribable. Like what? What are you talking about? How do you how, how do you get the blues to like? And then there's like this is no light here. Because it's physically not throwing any light at the base of this tank. And it's like, 
And this is, look at the contrast on this, like you can't. Only OLED, only modern OLEDs, which are brand spanking new and you can't get for computers unless you get like the smallest OLED TV and then you can't really run them because they'll burn in real bad. This destroys those. Or at least this comes, those OLEDs are finally coming close. If you look up Set and Fed, those are supposed to be glass panel flat displays that we're using CRT tech. They never came about. But only OLED uses a similar method of like, okay, we have a pixel, we're going to turn it off physically. The light comes from the pixel. That blotch of whatever the fuck is happening there, that's glowing only there. There is no edge lighting, there's no LEDs in the back. Every individual, and I would say dot, but it's not a dot. Every time it draws the line, it only throws electrons there to glow that. So everything just becomes this fucking world of color. I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to break down on a video because I've made a million videos and I can listen to this fucking headphones and amps and DAX all day long. And every once in a while, one of them will impress me. But we have only five senses. Um, taste doesn't really come into audio equipment. It doesn't come into monitors either. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be level with you. Sex is basically the only thing I can figure out that uses all five. Um, can you think of something else that uses all five of your senses? So taste, smell. You could smell leather. You could smell the CRT warming up. Um, touch. Not much touching going on with a CRT with headphones and things on your head. It's, it's a little bit different than knobs and stuff. Um, Sound, which this is not its job, that's more your job, but then sight. And sight, I think if we could choose, if we had to pick one of the fucking five senses we lose, pretty sure sight's gonna be the last one. I'm pretty sure we'd all lose sight last. And this is the best I've ever seen anything. Seen, seen with my eyeballs. There's panties. Thank you, Shuffle, you're doing great. Holy fuck. None of this looks possible. I could look at this 4K display or my OLED cranked up and I, it would never be this. There's something about it. It's just, it's solid. It feels like it exists. It's beyond just like, okay, it's pixels, it's whatever graphs. There, there are no pixels. I'm gonna actually take the camera off my head for a second and I'm gonna see how close I can get. I'm just gonna get, like, I'm literally, I'm holding the camera against the glass and there are no pixels. Like, you, like I'm literally bang, bang. There's nothing here. There's nothing that defines where something ends and something begins. There's just convergence and focal points. And everything is miraculous. And, and like how dark that edge is. Like it's, it's impossibly dark. There's not, if I shut all the lights off in this room, which currently there are still lights, that light's on, that light's on. I find that over there. To try to like make it so you can actually see my hands and stuff. If I put this on no lights, just for me, not filming it, and it's, because the glass itself would, is actually like, you can see, you can see how it's like lit here. If I put my hand up, it blocks the light. I could make it even darker. I could have no, no light happening in the dark areas if they're not supposed to be in there. Emma Watson has shown up. <sighs> I miss CRTs. This is a technology that, this isn't like, like VCRs, where obviously there's better stuff than VCRs. You know, you can record, you know, film cameras, where okay, there's a whole tradition of developing the film cameras, but you know, we have good. This will never happen again. When, when an OLED display makes me feel like this, I will satisfactorily put this fucking thing in the basement and never use it again. But until then, this is still the best looking display that has ever been on earth. Specifically this one, because they don't make VC. Do they still make VCRs? Does someone still make a VCR? If they still make a VCR, you can't say you know what the best VCR is. They still make cars. Every week, there's a new car. So you can't say you know what the best car ever was. They still make hot chocolate, they still make frying pans, they still make fucking electric razors and then headphones, but they don't make CRTs anymore. They're done. They're done.
They're the last, someone looked it up, the last factory um, was an Indian company and they closed down a couple years ago. This will never be beaten. Specifically, you could argue if it's the FW900 or the FW500, 540, I forget what the actual model number is, but there's one that's a 4.3 display that doesn't have the stabilization um, wires. So, you know, this, this is since it's a widescreen, some of the edges, maybe, maybe, in like the worst day on the earth, have a little bit of warping in them because it's such a wide thing. That's a good picture. And they could, you could argue that the slightly uh, squarer one is better for the guns and everything, but I, I won't argue that. Not even a, oh my God. Oh my God. I just hope that YouTube compression Life compression, soul compression isn't isn't ruining this as much as it's, I want it to be. I want this to be perfect. I want everyone watching this video to be like, fuck, Zeos is right. I can't believe how good that looks through his camera, through the internet, with the waifus and the flower. What is that? What is this? What even flowers is? You have to sit here to understand. You have to be in front of one. And that's why I'm putting two of them in the art sale. Because even with those other ones having slight color malfunctions and one of them's got a real loose wire in the back, when they warm up, they're still this. You still look at it and go, oh, oh, that's what we were all playing with. That's the shit we should have been, you know, concerning ourselves with. Because you know what? They're inefficient. They're heavy. They throw radiation, it's, it's moderate, like we were living in front of TVs for many years. And it wasn't like, oh my God, quick. So it was like, yeah, we get it, we get it. They're flat displays. When we had a CRT at home, like on the main home computer, we had a 19 inch CRT, that was my father bought 19 inch, which this is a 24, which is actually only like 22 and a half visible, but that's how they used to measure that shit. Um, we bought a 15 inch liquor crystal that was like that thick. It was a big fat chonky boy. And we were like, wow, it's so thin. We put it in front of the CRT and it was like, this is, this is okay. It was, it was interesting and nice because it was the first time you had actual pixels. Like here, I'm, I could zoom in and get real close and you'll be the exact same thing. You won't see anything that looks like I've defined perfect pixel. It's all sort of blends together and it gets soft around the edges. And maybe that's not the best for like text. Here, like text on fucking this. Like, yeah, I could see that the, the package thing and it's negotiated. It's kind of hard to read. Not hard to read, I don't give a fuck, it's clear as crystal because this is the best CRT ever made. But on older CRTs, that was sort of like the problem. Like you couldn't, you could, it, was, it was just like, eh. And you saw this perfect, liquid crystal display of like a laptop or a 15 inch monitor. You're like, wow, text looks so much better on this. But you're missing out on the fucking visuals. Look, the, the, that, if I watched all of Game of Thrones in like high resolution, I would do it on this and then I'd stop after season six. I wouldn't watch seven and eight, fuck those. Fuck that whole thing, speaking of things. I am, this is just me waxing lyrical. Because I don't get to talk about this. I've owned these now for fucking decade, over a decade. And every time I open up a picture on it, I'm like, well, shit. That's the best I've ever seen that picture. It makes me kind of want to just put a folder on the side and be like, this picture, I love this picture on my phone. I love this picture. I'm gonna look at that on a CRT later. Because that's where it actually fucking works. Can we talk about gaming? I just played like 10 seconds of gaming and the, 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 the wow, and the display and you know, let's go back in. I think it's still open here. Yeah. There is like doing this, there's no, there's no blur. That's being drawn over and over and over and over and over again immediately. And it could be done even faster if I set it to 85 Hertz. It's currently set to 60 Hertz for the camera, for this recording. This is, I mean, this is not a new modern game, but I can't even fathom what would happen if you put an actual first person FPS on here. Like, I'm just, no one it just. Apollos, by the way. New tune on the Apollos. Um, they're the most sound stagey headphone I've ever heard. Like, I don't know if that's gonna appeal to everybody, but fuck me, man. Um, 
I just wanna, I'm gonna play, I'm gonna actively sit here and play this game because I want to use my CRT. And that computer, the problem being that the graphics card is an older graphics card. It was actually donated by someone. Thank you very much. Because when my computer blew up and smoke came out of it, it was a graphics card just shit the bed. And I was like depressed because I couldn't plug the CRT back in unless I got an old graphics card that had analog outputs. And someone sent me the an R9. I think it's an R9. And it has the, the plugs for this. If you have an R9, you, you could do this. You can run one of these at its, at its potential. But the problem is, you know, games are ne games are going to be made. There's HD Fury. Um, anyone who uh, knows about this, please feel free to spam my comments with information. More so than I even could get on the hard forums. I doubt it. But it's just, uh, where am I going? I'm amazed that this is actually recording so well. I guess I can't go that way. On my little pink keyboard. Who makes you? Akko? It was an Akko gift keyboard. <sighs> It's all dumb. It's all dumb. And everything about it is better than anything I've seen up to it. Problem being anti-glare coating's gone, so it's literally a mirror. You can barely probably see the reflection of me, and certainly the red lights there. I could see my lights in my kitchen. Like, ideally this would be facing the back wall with no light, covered in black mat. And I have nothing touching it because as soon as any light hits the screen, this it actually emits the phosphor lights up, and ruins the con and ruins the contrast ratio a little bit. So most modern TVs, that's not really a problem, but on this it is. There's lots of things you have to know about a CRT to to live with one. The power consumption's off the fucking chain. I'm sure this is like 200 watts, maybe more. I you know what? I don't know. I've never tested it. Don't want to test it. Don't want to know. I just want to use it. I want to leave it on for six, seven hours. I used to leave my house and leave this on because I knew I'd be back in less than three hours. And I didn't want to have to turn it off and have it cool down and have to turn it on and have to wait. Like, it's not that. This, the, the, you know, you get the 4K, especially the Samsung, you hit the button, watch, and it's on. And you turn it off and it's off. And it has, you know, there's no warm up. It's just LEDs and it's just perfect. It's perfect for that. It's perfect for that. This is better. This is what I want. This is what I'm here for. Visually, this is the most stunning thing I've ever seen. I'm, I gotta stop talking, because I could just literally do this forever. And it hurts my soul to let the other two go, because I'm like, well, what, Zios, you, you, you spend so much time and effort gathering them and swapping them out and making sure they all worked right. And I just, I can't keep them in my house anymore. I need my living room. I need my fucking great room back. I need my table back. So. Check out the yard sale this month on Z Reviews. I might just put both of them up and be like, hey, hey well, we're gonna, we're gonna cut this video and I'm gonna put in the testing of those to show you here, in fact. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch, you ready? Let's go look at those other two. So we're back here the next day. Um, I actually spent a good deal of time playing Unreal 2 on this computer because I think I stopped playing video games when I stopped using my CRT because you know, 40 inch 4K, big, you know, 60 hertz wide, something about it. Anyway, you're seeing the lines running through this right now because I put it back to 85 hertz. Um, luckily, the where we're going now, which is to see the other two that have been warming up all morning, you can see the ones that are going to be in the yard sale. Hello, welcome. And these are just sitting on my Dreamcast because of course they are. And they are on a splitter wire that I bought on Amazon that is just a D715 RGB that goes to both. And you can see they both work. I spent a little time this morning trying to get them to tune to look the same. Um, this is the original unit, which has the crack in the bezel from the original shipment. And there's another uh, spider crack forming up here from just age. This is the other unit I got in Brooklyn. It's got a little crack here and some scuff marks here. And the top looks like... I don't know, it was used to beat someone to death at some point. Um, but these are the ones that sat in a, in a storage room for seven years. And I brought them here and I was so afraid to turn them on and they just work. Uh, this one looks a little bit, like this has a little bit of like a haze over the front and I'm not sure if I could adjust that out entirely. 
this is my original one. This is the first one I got. This is the one that's been worn the most because these things do wear out, sort of. Sort of wear out. If you keep the components new, if you refresh them every now and then, you could see like a little more blue here and a little more white here. The brightness is a little bit higher on. Um, we're going to call this unit one with the crack, and this will be unit two. Because when you buy them in the yard sale, because I am selling these, when you buy them, you're going to have to bid on both separately. It's not like I'm going to take the highest bid and the second highest bid. If you're okay, if you only want the unit two one, bid on that. If you only want the unit one one, bid on that. And then if this one's already gone, if I offer you that, I really, they're both very good. Um, I think it's actually running 30 hertz. Because it's it's a Dreamcast using a converter. I have the little box that converts a Dreamcast output to a, an RGB D sub 15, and then gives you like a plug-in for a three and a half millimeter for audio, which isn't currently hooked up. And this isn't even high resolution. This is all I had for the entire time I was in Philly. Was this game basically? Because I don't play any other games. Can I hit go? Let's start on this. Which 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 one? Of, which one of these is a go? This is a go. Um, uh, this is, I want to talk about this for a second, then we're going to talk about ghosting for a second, because I, I realized yesterday I was so in love that I forgot to talk about some of the issues that you may get with a screen like this, which I'm going to go back to last night at the end of this clip. But uh, this is the unit you can buy. It's called the RLC3 USB TTL picklist.com slash IO slash serial host. I might try to link this in the description. But this little unit, which is USB, and has these uh, four plugs, uh, if you go to the hard forums, and I don't know if it's, if it's updated or has been changed, when I was thinking about doing things to this seven years ago, you buy this unit, this plugs into pins specifically on the back of the monitor, you have to open a little panel, you plug this into a Windows 98 machine, and you run a specific program that only worked on Windows 98, and you were able to adjust settings beyond what the menu can do. So you go into the menu and go to color and you go to like, well, this is on easy if you go to expert or sRGB and you could see all the different color settings. For example, this one, the original one, the unit one, there's too much green. There's always too much green and I have the green nearly all the way down. And you could have, look, look at the brightness on this and I have the, the contrast at 95% where the contrast on this one is at 90%. And those things drift over time. What you can do with this unit is you can get into the actual firmware of the monitor itself and tell it, okay, you know where you're at 90? Yeah, well, that's now 50. And then you have much more adjustment range and that'll eventually run out, but you could get it to a point where you could then adjust the monitor properly. And this one definitely needs that sort of tweak. So you can get in there and fix the greens. By the way, Dreamcast just making noise like crazy. I love you, baby. My original Dreamcast is so warm. Um, playing Rival Schools 2, not Project Justice. This is the Japanese one. Actually, this might be Project Justice with all the English bullshit. Um, but you can get in there with this and tell it, look, reset all these values so that I can then adjust it properly, you know, with the control panel. This is like the back door. Um, I'll link this. I don't want to give this one up in case I need to do things on my SGI that I'm keeping in there. So, but this is something you might have to look out for purchasing. Can we actually play a game? Um, yeah, the, as far as like physical damage, just some scuff marks on this. The screens, I believe, are perfectly fine on both of these. There's actually a cut in the glass of my silicon graphics because when I had it at my, my parents' house, I had a shelf above it and I did something and I dropped the fucking copper heatsink from a computer and it went straight down and went suit and just put like a one inch gouge straight down in the glass of my silicon graphics. So these actually have perfect glass. These just have fucked up bezels. I mean, this is just, this is like, you put a bandit over that, like you would, like an anime girl would put on, just boom, then you're done with that. There's a couple gouges here. My friend said we might be able to fix this with like, if you take it all, the problem is this screen is under a lot of tension because it actually squeezes around it. So I don't think repairing that is going to be possible without extreme extremely good circumstances. The problem with unit, so unit one is a little bit more worn and the tube has definitely got less brightness coming out of it, probably 10, 10% less bright than this. And it's got a little bit more green than I'd like. And this might have a little bit too much red, but I gotta, I could adjust that. The, um, that's this one's problem. This one's problem 
is I currently have the uh, D sub 15 in the back velcroed and blue tacked so it's being pulled a very specific amount so that it looks perfect because there's just a connection issue if I go back here and wiggle the wire there we lose we lose the red drive it becomes yellow and if you go further then it's just the red drive and nothing else so that's just something that's a loose connection if you're planning to use RGBHV then that's fine I'll see if I could find. I'm going to put myself to task and put a link in the description for the DVI to RGBHV wire that would ignore that because you just flip this input two instead of input one and you would be able to use that and not the D sub 15. My friend Dan also, Dan the IT man, was like, hey, I change out connectors like that all the time. You want me to try to do it? If you are willing to pay him for his time to fix that on this monitor, he is willing to do that. I don't know how much it's gonna cost, probably like $100, $150. If you bid on this monitor and you're like, look, I want unit two because the screen's a little bit fresher, but I want you to fix that thing also, so here's an extra $150, that can be done. If you're okay with, with this, with the crack and the thing, and you're gonna bid, look, I bought these for like dirt cheap. They're not expensive. They're hard to find, well, -main well cared for, like I give a shit. If you're looking for a monitor that someone who like literally waxed lyrical for 45 minutes yesterday um, about this, I'm that man. All I could do is protect it from the cats and I can't protect it from fuck. Did I use FedEx? I bet I used fucking FedEx. Fuck. Maybe it was UPS. I don't know. I'm going to blame FedEx for that crack. But other than they both take about the same amount of time to warm up. <sighs> Actually, that's a little, see that rubber there? That was from my old keyboard. I just stuck it there and I forgot about it. A little bit of dust down here I could wipe off for you. But you know, if you want to purchase one of these, join the Patreon for $5 a month. I have to do that so I have to, I have to like limit it so people who actually can afford, people who can prove that they can pay $5 on their own without their mommy's credit card. Join my Patreon, join the subscribe star. When the yard sale happens, probably the end of whatever month this is i'm filming this in february but we're getting closer to the end of the month and i have videos lined up so it'll either be a march 1st yard sale or a oh god april 1st yard sale and it's not an april fool's joke i'm actually going to come to my house or i'll meet you halfway from this area i'll give you an hour and a half of driving around my house and if you're if you're anywhere near eastern pennsylvania and you would like to adopt one of these for money I'm, I'm almost willing, if, if one sells, if this one sells, and people actually, because this is a desirable setup and unit other than the problem in the back, if this one like doesn't have anyone purchase it, if they're like, oh no, I don't want it because it's cracked, or I don't want it because it's dull, I'm almost willing to just adopt it out. Like we'll sign paperwork and you can rename it and be like, oh, this one actually has a little, this, I actually like the blues on this one a little better than this one right now, so it, it's just, it's, it's, it's hit or miss on which one I've fucking fallen in love with. They're all amazing. They'll all do what that one does. Oh, we got to talk about ghosting. So one of the things that you'll notice if you get into a CRT is that sometimes like vertical lines, there'll be a ghost image slightly to the right. And you're like, what is that? And that has everything to do with the wires. You want to talk about wires don't matter? Oh, Zios, you know wires don't matter. Headphone wires don't matter. Power wires don't matter. Video wires for analog signal matter. So that's where, I, that's where I learned to care. Because if you, I used to have adapters that went from DVI to, to D sub 15, and I would go through fucking 10 of them. Because every time I changed one out, one would ghost and one would not, and then one would work for a while and then ghost and then would not. And I had to find the perfect matching sets. Currently I'm not using the, the D sub 15, I'm using a full straight DVI to RGBHV wire, which eliminates at least one more connectivity problem. But that is a possibility. If you wiggle wires, sometimes you'll get a you'll get a slightly behind it, and it just it's just a ghost. It's a ghost, and you can see it on like white backgrounds with black text. You'll see the, every letter behind it and to the right, just a little bit. And you're like, what the fuck is that? And you wiggle the wire, and sometimes it just goes and goes away. So ghosting could be a thing. Um, I have a barber I go to. He's nine, He's 87 years old. He's over here in a town and he's got a CRT television 
in his barber shop. He hasn't changed the, his father gave him the shop in like 1960. And his father was a barber from 1945 to 1960. And he's been running it since 1960. And I guarantee you that TV, the big CRT TV in a wooden box that's showing the game show network, he says he's never had it repaired. He just lets it sit there. It's covered in like white powder from doing barber shop things. And it works. There's a, he's got like a 27 inch wood box CRT and it still works because when you build them good, they work forever. Example, I don't have a place to put three of these. I don't need three. I'm not that greedy. I want one. I want the one that looks the best. that fits in my office. The last one I got, the one I've used the most. These need a good home. Please bid on them in the yards. If I could make it so you could bid on them and not, oh, I lost the yellow on that. See, look, there's a little, Actually, that one wiggles a bit too because that one's, it's a, it's a whole thing. This is a TLC moment. This is like, a, oh, I want, I want one of these Zios. Do you have what it takes to love and care to make the CRT work good? If you do, please, please bid on it. If you know someone who's not a patron, someone who's never heard of my channel, ask your friends. But like, hey, Jim, you, you play a lot of retro games because you could hook up retro game shit to this. Would you like to bid on this? And then you, if you're a patron, bid on it or have, tell them about it and have them jump on. I'm not trying to like, like get a bunch of patrons to join. Join for $5 and leave. But find someone who will actually care for this. I'm more concerned about people who care for the monitor, who will work on it, who will read through the hard forums, who will go over like, I have a problem with that one in there where the, the screen is squeezed in the middle and it has something to do with the refresh rate I'm using and the way it's set up for a custom resolution in the R9's ATI graphics fucking driver. Where like, like you take a circle and it's a circle and it's like slightly a narrower circle and it's a circle on the outside. And I've gotta, I gotta work through those sorts of things. Even I have to work through those sorts of things. If you know someone who'll care for one of these, please tell them about this. Tell them about this sale. Because this video, you know what? I might push this, this yard sale back a month just so people can watch this video, find it, and then find the people who are going to like Because I'm not going to put them on eBay. I'm not going to put them on Facebook Marketplace. These are, are too important to me to have some rando show up. I want you to have watched this video all the way through and understand what the word Trinitron means to the soul. And then I can pick one of these up. So that's it. I'm, um, thank you, Dreamcast. I'll, I'll play one terrible practice round. Hold on. Training mode. Training mode. And of course, I'll be Daigo. Daigo, Daigo. And we're going to fight against Tiffany. For You understand why we're fighting against Tiffany. Because Tiffany is an American with big old honkers. And you can't have bigger, older honkers than these. Which, by the way, what do you think about this? Um, I might do all my reviews in 4.3. Uh, oh, higher resolution, you bitch. I'm gonna punch this bitch in the face. Oh no, she's gonna fuck me up. Are you watching me get destroyed on a very dark map? Oh, Jesus. I, I got this, I got this, I got this. I don't got this. Oh, God, I love this game too. It did such a good thing because you go like walk sideways and you just, oh, she's doing the booby grab. You walk sideways and you have such a good, good feel for 3D. I'm getting my ass whooped. Enough of this. All right, back to, back to past Zeos, who is still waxing lyrical. I just wanted to give you guys a preview of these things actually working and the slight differences, if you can even make them out, where it's like, that just feels a little bit, a little bit grayer than this, but they're so fucking good, it doesn't matter. By all means, continue. Um, so yeah, now that you've seen those two and you've seen this one, and I just, I can't get over, like that, right there. There's nothing coming from up there. It's just black. It's just black. And then the colors are so vibrant. <sighs> you can hack refresh rates. You can run this at low res with a 120 hertz refresh rate. 100, might even be able to get 144 at a low resolution. Don't. Don't. Don't be that asshole who plays Counter-Strike, you know, 1.5 on a CRT push to the nines don't destroy this don't destroy one of these to play to just to play video games enjoy it with video games enjoy it with pictures put on milk drop just just browse the web with it 
Like that's probably the least impressive thing is like browsing the web. But even then, scrolling through text is just, yeah, let's get out of this for a second. Just scrolling and being able to just, there's no, there's no discernible tearing or anything. It's just, it's so nice. Yeah, there are the girls. These are the ones I use to judge white balance, white and then skin tone. And if I can see the detail on the skin and I know exactly what this looks like because I've looked at this picture a million times on every device, my phone to my goddamn lens, is everything. Look at the colors here. The co In fact, a lot of these you'll see are not cropped because I used to have a folder called FW900 Worthy. Pictures like this, pictures that have, and you can see my shadow appearing on it. Echo, turn off office fan. Okay, that's a little better. Just, you can't impress anybody with this. I'm doing it. I don't know how this looks to you right now, but that is the most perfect that picture's ever looked. There's a zero, zero light input on the bottom and top. And where it's where it's delicate and light is like, I don't know if you can see me see my hand. This, this is perfect. And you can see that that's photoshopped in and a thing. It's shit like this. That is the, wow. Hey, that's, that's anime girl for you. That's also, and that's also, and that's also, and that's chainsaw. <sighs> I'm gonna put the lights back on as much as I don't want to put the lights back on If you want one of these you can buy it in the yard sale All you have to do is be a patron for five dollars a month um, And then you can bid whatever you want honestly bid a penny if you're willing to drive out to eastern Pennsylvania and Pick one of these up or get relatively close. I will bring it to you. I Will bring one of those other ones. We just showed you with the little sight the flaws and the cracks you can ha you can mull over one of these monsters. Oh, by the way, this picture, for some reason, um, I used to be able to do a color count thing on like Jask Paint Shop or something. This has the most colors, the most different colors of any picture I had in that folder. It's ridiculous. It was like 47 million colors or something. 4.7 million colors. Individualized colors. It was, it was nuts. I um I love this display. I want someone else who always wanted the, this is it, it's the best. You can't get a better one. Oh, Zios, I'm holding out till next year's model. There is no next year. There's, they're only getting older and harder to find and I will not just throw those on fucking Facebook Marketplace and let some schmuck pick them up who doesn't know anything about it. It's gonna recycle them for the gold inside or something. Someone who wants these bid on them. I don't care if it's 50 cents, bid on it. Take, take those away. Give them a home. Spend the time to buy the little, the, I'll show, I'm sure I showed it in the previous thing, the little uh, USB plug that can correct the colors. I didn't even go through the settings on this. By the way, the, the front, you have a big power button. You've got a USB hub in the, in the fucking base, which is USB 1.0, by the way. God, everything is, let's go backwards a little bit. Perfect. Look at look at the fucking details in that. Like all the cars and everything. This is nuts. USB hub in the bot in the in the stand, which for some reason has the input on the front and then the other four outputs, or the outputs on the on the front and the other four inputs, whatever you want to call it. That's dumb. That should be on the side and in the front. The power button is here. Green LED. Amber, if you turn it off, there's a knob on the side which turns the entire one. This is a, a cylind cylindrical control panel that you turn it and it presents to you a reset button, an ASC button. I don't remember what ASC does and I'm tempted to push it, but I'm not going to. Um, you have an input switch, one and two, for uh, RGB 15 and uh, the RGB HV. And then you have the menu button and it's a jog stick. So it's up, down, left, right, and push in. You push it in and here's your menu. Screen, center, conversions, geometry, exit, color, language, size, and option. What is option? You can degauss the display. You can move the on-screen display, which is this. And look at it go, ooh. Wait, 
Ooh, I obviously moved it there so I could have things in the middle of the screen. You can uh, control lock on or off. I wouldn't do that. I have no idea how to turn that off again. I ref I'm not going to degauss it though. Um, screen is basically you set your landings. You can squeeze the all four corners or the moray pattern. There's a moray like when it does this. It's analog. It's not just pixels work. You have to get it lined up. The centering is you know, basic, up, down, left, right, stretch. Uh, again, don't touch any of these things until this computer monitor has been on for an hour. After an hour, maybe even longer, I'll be like, all right, then I can adjust it. Because I guarantee you, the first 10 minutes, if you adjust it, in 10 more minutes, it's going to have shifted, moved, and expanded. Get some green on there. Um, right, so let's go back out of this. Convergence is, convergence can be a little bit harder to dick with. All these numbers, 41, 45, 53, that's all done. I will have to share my um, Zeos, future Zeos, share your Imgur um, folder that does calibration stuff because there's a bunch of convergence things in there, which actually still work for my, my um, projector in the basement because it's a... It's a, what's it called, projector. It's a three LCD projector, which means there is convergence issues. We have to move the colors to line them up. So same thing with this. Uh, geometry is literally tilting of the screen, um, pillowing of the screen on the edge, and you could do pillow one way, then there's trapezoid, and there's, there's, there's all the geometry you need to, ch to touch. I've fixed it, obviously, because I'm obsessive compulsive, and I've done that. Um, color will go to last. Language? Pick your language. Do you speak any of those? If you don't, how are you watching this video? Size is basically stretch and move, which you'd think that would be the same as center. Why is that? I just realized those are the same thing. 51, 51. It's weird. They give you the same exact thing for size and center. I guess you can go to it and it'll be the first thing or the second thing if you want to do it. Options just has the gals. We did that already. Color. For a split second, we're going to talk about color. I currently have it at 9100K, which perfect, like, uh, is, is, is what, 6500K? Is like the, the, the gamma perfect thing. So I have it set to where it accomplishes for this monitor's failings. If I go up and I move this over to 6,500 or 5,000, you can see it gets a little bit richer and a little bit redder. And I just like it at 9,100. Okay, go back to color. Then you have, that's under easy mode. And there's image restoration, which will do a thing. I should do the thing. Hold on, wait. I'm going to do image restoration. It's been too long since I've done that. This will actually run the monitor through a cycle, which will play with the guns, basically. And it's doing things now, which can reset the color. I've had it, that is not a degauss, that's another process, and I can't quite tell you how it works. But let's get out of easy mode, easy color, and go to expert color. Or we can go to sRGB. You can see it changes. In fact, expert color, oof, do I want to be an expert color? Give me, give me something that's not Sue. Give me the whole thing. Expert color, oh, yeah, I could see it It just dulls it out a little bit. And then sRGB is just, you know, blatantly like whiter and lighter. And it tells you specifically what to set the brightness and the contrast to for sRGB. If you wanted to have it on that, which I think that will drift over the years. An expert, you can do the red, green, and blue bias and gain, and what those are, and I know this from the projector and other things, is I think bias is the light sides of those colors. Could be wrong, could be completely opposite, but here's what you have to know. You can adjust the RGB on the bright part of a color and on the dark part of a color, on the gain and on the bias. So if you open up red, and red doesn't quite look red, only on the light parts of it, you could adjust one and bring it down. How do you do that manually? I don't fucking know. I'm gonna get off this and go back to go back to easy. It looks perfect on easy, don't touch it. Don't touch it off easy, Just, it's perfect on easy. Everything on everything is better when it's easy. We know this. So yeah, I'm, I'm done. 
I kind of want this video to last for three hours. I feel like if any YouTube video I make will just be insanely long, it should be this one. This is the most important piece. This is of everything I've ever owned ever. My car, my fucking house, you name it. This is the most important thing. This thing means the most to me. If I was gonna get a fucking tattoo, which I don't have any tattoos, it'd be a, a my other tattoo is on a GD, GD, G, wow. Sony GDM FW900. It's a mouthful and you'll remember it because you're gonna fucking get a tattoo about it. So let's close up that. Kick, kick off with just, oh, Jesus God. I would love to have shown you more video games with it. I, I just don't have them installed. I just don't have them installed. And I, now I kind of need to get them installed because I want to play, I want to use this. I want to listen to music here. <sighs> Please, if you're gonna bid on them in the yard sale, bid on them with a heart of gold because you're gonna need it. These are, these are old displays that need to be cleaned and kept in good working order. And I used to have an anti-static spray for it because since I pulled off the anti-glare coating, that was also the anti-static coating, which means when it gets, you know, when it turns on, it goes, all the dust sticks to the front of it. Anyway, I think I'm done. Patreon and subscribe star. If you want to bid on these, join one of those. Either one works. The yard sales go up from the 1st to the 10th of every month. The bidding starts at $0. Obviously, you're coming to pick this up. So just, just, we'll, we'll talk about it after you bid on it. If you win and you bid on it and you win. Um, you also get to see these reviews early. So people who are patrons on either Patreon or subscribe star are seeing this video and going, Jesus, Zios, get a fucking room. I did. I literally got this room for this, just to be with this monitor. And this sat in the basement for the longest time and I was like, cause I was using that computer in that room and then when I was finally built my new computer, I put the old black computer in that room and then that computer wasn't doing anything and I'm like, well, I can plug it in here and I put the CRT up to it. Literally just desired it, needed it, needed it here. So yeah, $10 a month, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, which is what you wanna do. And then uh, listen to sound demos, losslessly or missing sound demos. A lot of those went missing. For $10 a month, you get to tell me I'm a fucking psycho to my face. Well, not to my actual face, but patrons uh, in the patronage chat, the private behind the scenes patronage chat. How do I get a thumbnail for this video? I'm not great at thumbnails, but I don't think anyone's great enough to actually put the world's great. I'm gonna go look at a Linus Tech Tips fucking thumbnail. The fucking pointing and the mouth open, like nah. Ain't doing it. I and mean, $10 a month to get in the private behind the scenes Telegram chat, where you can ask me any questions you want and get access to a private swap meet where if you have some CRTs you wanna sell, you could do it in there and sell it to other patrons. You'd be amazed at how much stuff people are just selling in there. Like the flashes, even the flashes are natural because they're instant. They happen and they go away in a split second. There's no lag to the input. And you think you have no lag, oh, I have low input. Put a mouse on a display, you know, and put a mouse. If I, in fact, you could like, um, clone, have a CRT here and have an LCD here and do the same thing and just watch how much worse the LCD is. Only the highest level of high level LCDs will come even close to the, to the, the rates that this can do and they won't be any good. They still won't be as good. It's dumb. These are dumb. Welcome to the dumb, everybody. Zeos is here. Zeos does his best to bring you the dumb. And and then at the end of the day, let's see, what are we ending? Where's our wallpaper we're gonna say goodnight on? The bus, I love that bus. Where's that bus? I don't know why, but this fucking bus is so orange. It's, the wheels are so dark. The shadow just makes it disappear. It's like, how does it do that? All right, I'm, um. I'm done. We're done. There we go. Perfect. Him on a sea of black with a CRT. We are we are okay. I'm going to be okay. You're going to be okay. We're all going to be okay. If you could find an HDMI, the problem, the real problem with this, now that I've, the review is completely over and I'm going to still keep going on, the real problem is nobody makes an HDMI 
to RGB converter that works fast enough to give you 1920 by 1285 hertz. Because I think if you're going from, from HDMI to, to RGB 15, uh, you don't need much, what, 1024 by 768, maybe 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. To get 1920 by 1200 at more than 60 hertz, no one makes that piece of hardware. And it's sad as fuck. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you for stopping by and listening to me just pour my heart out on this thing, because... Oh, by the way, if you case you didn't know, wondering what this is, this is a giant piece of wood, a circular piece of wood, because if I put this straight onto this soft um, mat, which I cover all the tables with, it would just destroy it in a matter of, like, seconds. So a giant fuck-off piece of wood helps a great deal. Anyway, yeah, I'm done. I, I don't want this review to end, because that means I have to stop talking about my baby. And I love my baby. And I'm always going to love my baby. And, oh. That's not even anime. And it's still amazing. Anyway, I'm done. I'm Zeos Pantera. Check out the links in the description. Um, check out the yard sale. And I hope that we all can live together in hope that there's new CRT... Oh, my God. Stuff, eventually. And God bless Japan for making it. And God bless America for having it. And God bless you all for supporting me. And fuck. I'm leaving now. But seriously, I'm leaving. Seriously, I'm leaving. Ser seriously. I'm leaving. <laughs>